Like something to eat? Breakfast of champions. Yogurt and frosted flakes. Evidently, Matthew McConaughey is here in that big, huge boat over there. You want to go check it out? See if he's there? No, I don't really care for Matthew knock McConaughey. <laughs> yeah, just knock on his door. Yeah, it's Matthew here. Can I say hi? What's up? He's expecting us, yeah. He and I, we're, we're neighbors. Maddie here. Maddie. Oh, look at the iguana on the rocks. Ah. So hot. <laughs> Getting stink eye here from this guy. Over, like, slightly with the birds. Yeah. That's been so calm. He's got big claws too, so he could probably reach me at some point. See him? It's pretty big. So we have transformed it uh, into this kind of living. Don't be late for your boat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, so uh, this this aquarium is also featuring a mangrove root for us here. So there we go. So let's talk about these fish here. Who here likes to go? <laughs> it's not something we see every day. A bunch of chickens in a tree. Thank goodness our chickens don't know how to do that. States was the sea. Railroads were almost unknown. Overland roads to the young nation's interior non-existent. Only the great sailing ships linked the busy New England states with the rich Mississippi Valley and its growing demand for manufactured goods and for luxury items from Europe. But along this vital lane of commerce lie the dangerous reefs of the Florida Keys. Like this. This is not fun. What? It's nice and small. It's good. 
Ooh. I don't think she thinks it feels good. I think she's like, why are you spraying me? I don't think so. I look happy. Oh, I look happy, huh? <laughs> Girl. Oh, you're really doing the full over, everybody. No! No, she got me! She got me! So terrible! Good girl. What do you think? <laughs> oh my gosh, that's huge. That's not very nice. That was not nice. Let his head go. Yeah, right? <laughs> she goes like, let go of me! Oh my gosh. Help me! <laughs> Is he okay? Still got him over there. Oh, the seagull's like, oh, I got away. I'm not feeling so good. The seagull still ate it. The oh. seagull still got it. Yeah, there I go. I'm flying away I now. Can, I can barely fly. Can't well, really you, see. You I'm a little can. dizzy. Yeah. Because I'm gonna go eat somewhere else. What's that? What's in there? He's gonna get him. outnumber the living over four to one. So my friends, for the zombie apocalypse, don't come to Key West. We're gonna be having a really bad day. <laughs> As you guys have been walking around this island, have you noticed the blue painted underneath any of the porch ceilings? Yeah? That is not just any shade of blue, that is a very particular shade of blue. Powerful blue. A blue that's said to keep out evil spirits. It's called hate blue, H-A-I-N-T. A haint is a haunt or an evil spirit with bad intentions. If you paint the underside of your porch ceiling blue, what do you think it represents? Water. So spirits won't enter your house. Now what do you do if you already have a spirit in your house and you paint the underside of your porch ceiling blue? Seal it in. It's another tour, you have to come back another night. Sorry. <laughs> Now on our journey tonight, we are going to be entering two locations that are known to be haunted. When we're inside, make sure that you pay attention to your senses. A feeling of sadness or doom or dread or sudden goosebumps with no apparent reason typically mean a spirit is trying to manifest or show itself. There is one fine phrase that we do respond to. You're doomed! You guys already know that. That is the first thing I told you when we got on the trolley. To that we respond with five simple words. Yes, we are the doomed. Both of the locations that we will be entering tonight do have all four types of haunting. And the second is also home to Robert. Robert the doll. Who here has not heard of Robert the doll? Uh, yep, exactly. I usually end his opening act. Well, Robert lived for years up in the attic turret tower of the artist's house, and people began to avoid this street and this block altogether because they didn't want him looking down on them with his beady little eyes. He, the 1830s Victoria Mansion, today it's a bed and breakfast. You can actually sleep where Robert slept, if you dare. Here in the near corner, all the way up, that's where Robert lived for years and years. But we're gonna be face to face with him. Zoom it out. You can actually look off to your left and see a replica of one of those wrecking boats called a sloop. They would go out with 30 foot waves and hurricane conditions. Today it's a chicken coop. 
Now, if you don't feel comfortable going into the shipwreck, you are more than welcome to stay outboard with Art, although I find him a little bit peculiar myself, <laughs> and I do feel like they're safety in numbers. Hmm. We only have about seven basements in all of Key West. That's because you really needed dynamite to be able to blow out this fossilized coral foundation. Basements like this would be very, very good places in the 1800s to store ice. Do you all know what else goes really, really well with ice besides alcohol? Uh -huh. Dead bodies? Yes, dead bodies. Perfect. Well, you could imagine the smell that would come out of here as that ice would begin to melt and that those bodies would begin to decay in our subtropical Florida heat. Oh. Today, the East Martello is a beautiful museum run by the Key West Arts and Historical Society. Yes, we are oh, the doomed. doomed. That, my friends, was a drive-by doing. <laughs> but most importantly, it's home to Robert, Robert the doll. I promised you we'd be getting back to Robert, and here we are. Robert is something of a paranormal pop star. He has been featured on TV shows like William Shatner's Weird or What, Amazon's Lore. The Travel Channel has come out with us a couple times to interview him to, and take photographs. He, in 2014, got to go up to the Clearwater Taps Convention, and their paranormal experts swarmed around Robert. They wanted to ask questions and interview him, take photographs, and he was photographed with a very special aura detecting camera. And they realized that Robert does have an aura, just like a little boy. It's purple at the top and blue at the bottom. Purple denotes curiosity, blue is knowledge. Robert... <laughs> is actually the second most haunted child's plaything in the entire world. Do you guys happen to know what the first most haunted plaything is? Annabelle. Yes. We're here, Robert, we're here. Are you guys just so excited you can't even stand it? <laughs> Perfect. Tonight is the night. And look, he's smiling. See how happy Robert is that you all came out tonight to meet him. And bury the newly deceased relative on top. We may have as many as four bodies in one casket. We may have as many as nine generations in one crypt, tomb, or mausoleum. And we still practice this to this day. Then we simply take the old tombstone of the ancestor and replace it with the recently deceased relative's tombstone. And this story of Elena Hoyos is coming up next on the trolley of the doom. And there is an actual picture right there, my dears, on the wall of the beautiful Elena and the creepy count. <laughs> now, my dears, have we all had enough time with Robert? You better ask. Let's all say goodbye to Robert. Did you ask? <laughs> Bye, Robert. And we are going to go back out on the ground. Yeah? Um, we it's know. very... Yes, yeah, we yeah, are with the dude! Not sure you guys know this bar on our left. Very famous bar. Yes, we are the dude! I don't have any haunting stories about Sloppy Joe's. Just drinking stories. <laughs> I do, however, have haunting stories about the original Sloppy Joe's called Captain Tony's. Used to be an ice house and a city board. Captain Tony closed the patio on the side around the tree, and you can actually see that tree through that first set of open doors. He was going to cut that tree down until he learned that is the original hanging tree. We've been hanging people there since the 1700s. They did do some reconstruction on the floor, and when they pulled up, yes, we are the doomed. Welcome back. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> when they pulled up the floorboards, they found 18 bodies and two headstones. One of Reba Sawyer, one of Elvira Edmonds. Now, Art, do you feel sad? Do you feel cold? You guys might feel it as well. Because our tour is over. Oh. I know. I hope this dark tour has not cast a pallor over our bright and sunny island. And I do hope you go back and visit some of the places we went to tonight. Like the Shipwreckers Warehouse. I am told the view from the top of the tower is absolutely to die for. <laughs> 
You might also have to go back to the East Martello and apologize to Robert. He knows who you are, and <laughs> soon so will you. <laughs> Unfortunately, my undead livelihood does depend on TripAdvisor review. So if you've enjoyed your tour, my name is Mama Adina. This is Art. If you've not enjoyed your tour, stay off the internet, friend. There's too much bad news out there already. <laughs> <laughs> Can we give Art a huge round of applause for diving our safe Thank you, Art. Thank you, Art. <laughs> now, friends, as you get off the trolley, you will be undoomed. And this is my absolute least favorite part of the tour, but I do split my tips three ways. If you want to say thank you, you can say thank you this way. And thank you so much for coming out with us tonight. And as the young lady said, happy holidays.